Part 3, Finishing My Job I know, at this point, I was thinking that I really should not have done that. But in a long run, fixing that insane cartridge is a good work. And I don't really want to do anything bad. I want to make Jerry happy. But following the cartridge map, it's insane. I was so regretful this Monday morning thinking of the whole bunch of evil cartridges. I think of what should I do with them. Suddenly, I got a new message from that unknown number. He says, help me. Well, the old cartridge man is dead. You know that? And why is this old cartridge man still sending me text messages? I searched my contacts to see anyone or anything who can help me. I found a number of an old best friend. It's Rhodes. Rhodes is an IT technician. He finished studying with his masteral degree of being an IT. He is more knowledgeable than me. I mean it. I called him. We talked about the cartridges and I tell him about the old cartridge vendor. He agreed to meet up with me tomorrow. I packed up the cartridge. I prepared my old GBASP. I woke up early in the morning, fixed myself and went to our meeting place with Rhodes. We went his house. We opened up a total of six computers, four PC and two laptops. He brought out three GBASP. I think I will not bring out mine. We inserted the connector to each computer's. First, we enable all antivirus protection and firewall to all PC. Then, we cleaned up the cartridges. We tried to plate each cartridge. Some are really not working that looks like an unfinished glitchy game. We made a record of all the cartridge. The next day, we found out that all of the game cartridges are unfinished and something scary will appear at the end. We now, then try to insert the cartridge on the connector. Each cartridge has the same number of viruses 1566 each. And if you did unplug the cartridge, the 1566 virus will still be there. So before unplugging the system, you should remove the robotics.rar implant it on the cartridge to successfully clean up the cartridge. We copied it. Robotics.rar files. After cleaning all the cartridge, we inspected the robotics.rar with different programs. We found out eight pushbots that recreates binary codes upon deletion. Nothing seems unusual. We replaced all fake horrible ROMs with a new working ROM. We also replaced the saving system and many other elements. After replacing, we are ready to go. Within five days of working, we made a stand that sells working cartridges. I was ready to pack up when I saw the cartridge map below my bag. I immediately turned on my GBA to check if it has been cleared. Inside was a dialog box. It says, thank you. Then a loud freaking noise arise. It's a big static noise. This caused me to be dizzy. The static noise was like a supersonic tone that really pierce your ears. The tone has a very loud frequency. After the static noise gone, I fainted. I woke up. I was surprised to see. I'm in my office desk. I turned around and I see Leo alive. I talked to him. Leo. You. Alive. Is this real? What are you talking about? Are you still dreaming? I'm 100%. Alive. My boss scolded me for talking to Leo and not finishing my work. I checked the office cabinet and there's no blood stains. I asked the office mates about what happened. I asked Alice. Alice. What happens yesterday? Dude. Are you drunk? You're doing your work. Yesterday. You're so happy yesterday because it's August 4th and today is payday. You. Know that? I almost faint when I heard it. I checked my cell phone and I'm so surprised. To see the number of the cartridge vendor. His message says, thanks for finishing my. Job. Good work. A few hours later. I saw Jerry, playing the Super Mario cartridge that. I edited. I take a little look while he is playing. All elements are now normal. 
Nothing's wrong. I ask Jerry, hello. It seems that you have a great time playing with Super Mario aren't you? He replied back, yes sir. Thanks for fixing this. He smiled and continued playing the game.